Hi Mark. It's, uh, uh, do you fight in the, the, the last year? And uh, how do you feel right now to come, come to do uh, uh, the main event right now? Do you think you have a little pressure more again uh, comparing about the last fight? Um, no, I just uh, for myself as a fighter, there's no pressure. I just it's just fight, you know, go and fight, and that's all that matters to me. So and I try not to put a lot of pressure on myself. You know, people lose fights before they even get into the octagon or the ring before they even fight because there's too much pressure. So you know, I try to keep the pressure off and. I'm just um, all I look forward to is putting my best performance in, on, on the night for, and that's all I can do. How do you think he has, right now as an opponent? Do you think he, uh, you, I don't, I think you, you have a strategy to, to beat him, but do, do you worry about that, about someone, something about grappling? I, I don't really worry about anything these days at the Octagon, you know, because you know, I'm, I'm at the top end of the world and it's hard to, you can't be worried about anything because otherwise you shouldn't be in the top 10. <laughs> so the thing for me is I'm not worried about anything, I'm interested in what I'm going to do for the fight. So. You, you face a, uh, someone the toughest fights in the, the division, uh, like uh, uh, Junior Dos Santos, right now you face Roy Nelson, and, uh, yeah, and you do a, a, a big fight. Uh, you made a fight of the, maybe a, maybe a fight of the year with Bigfoot Silva, and right now facing Nelson. Uh, do you think uh, it's a, a factor to, to uh, motivate the fans, the Japanese fans like you, uh, to come to Arena and support are you in the, in the fight? Of course, you know, I expect a big turnout. Have everyone turns up for the fight. It's going to be a great, great show. There's a lot of good fighters on here. You know, Yama, Mitchell Tate, you know, Dan Hook is on the card. There's a lot of great fighters on It's going to be a good night of entertainment, good night of fights. Uh, how is our camp for this fight? You you made uh, uh, just changes or the, the keep the, the same the same team? I did my camp in New Zealand uh, for the last like four or five fights as well, but I did a lot more zoo stuff than in uh, modified strongman stuff. So a lot more zoo training to help with my strength and conditioning. So, yeah. uh, do, uh, this event uh, made a first female fighter fight uh, in the UFC in Japan. Uh, how do you think about uh, female MMA? Uh, do you like it? Do 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 you, do you like it about that? I think it's good because it gives uh, the woman equality. So you know, just like men can earn a living from fighting, so can women. I think it's equal equal opportunities. If you can send a message for for your fans outside and the Japanese fans especially. Ah, arigato gozaimasu, thank you for coming to support. Hope to see you on Saturday night and to all the fans around the world watching on Fight Pass, on the TV. You know, uh, wish me luck and I'll see you all in the south. <laughs> thank you, man. Right. Uh, I, for I forgot. Um, <coughs> talking about the Fridays, uh, do, you, do you think the UFC come back to emulate uh, since I like that? Or do you think uh, uh, UFC made uh, a lot of, lot of diff diff uh, different things? To, to in Japan because of the, the, the fall of Pride, the K1, it's a lot of big events, and big arenas, and Saitama is a big arena too. How do you think about that? Do you think UFC can be do do that or yes. or made made a, 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 a still still this, this thing and do the events with the I think it's great, you know. I think um, you know it's good to have UFC come and have they can re revive the fight scene here in Japan. You know, because, I mean, uh, in a sense, uh, prior to K1, there's no more fight scene here in Japan, but you know, it's good now. And uh, I, I remember uh, a couple of weeks ago, uh, how, how, what happened about the, this message in, in Twitter and uh, the Dana White they made an uh, answer to the fans to, to, to make the, uh, 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 the fans uh, not, not to worry about your, your job. Yeah, look, it's a, it's a, it's a long story, and you, know, you know, I got no comment. It's just, you know, I'm just, uh, just trying to get ahead. Is what I'm trying to do. That's all I'm trying to do. <laughs> That's how it is. Okay. Thank you so much. Mark, uh, you know, the UFC is trying to be a be a progressive about expanding its market to the Asia, not just Japan. What do you, what do you think of it? I think it's great. You know, I mean, uh, you know, hopefully it works out. I just, you know, I mean. 
since Pride and they died here, there's no uh, fight market here in Japan. I used to love, and I still love coming to Japan. I mean, K1, Pride, it was big audiences, it was massive. So, I'm happy if the people get behind UFC and support it. And, you know, I hope the market grows here in the Asian Asia as well. So, I mean, um, do you it's think kind there's, of, it's, there's a lot of potential? Outside? Well, I hope so because you know, I mean, it's a, uh, I mean, being a global platform is good. You know, with K1, there was only only here in Japan, and but as a fight, if you get to the top of the world, you know, you could be a global fight. Everyone knows who you are. So hopefully, you know, it, it works out here in the Asian market, like Japan, and Korea, and China, and the rest of it. So it only benefits the fighters. It helps the fighters, you know.